Who hit the club and his cops full of jealous? We in the bag and we bug in the tea. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kaylin, and if you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do lifestyle, fashion, and hygiene content on my channel. But today is my second video in this series of upgrading my wardrobe. I started this in the month of August, and I'm continuing on to September, and it's basically where I do a try-on haul and show you the things that I've got over the last month and just give my review, maybe some fashion tips, tricks, stuff like that. So I've just wanted to upgrade my closet now that I've moved to Miami and I'm out of college and everything and I can really just get into my own sense of fashion and really just expand my wardrobe and try and find pieces that really speak to me because I used to look into my closet and feel uninspired and now that I'm getting more into fashion, it's just something that I feel really excited about. So for today's video, there are three different brands that I'm going to be trying on. One is Shein, that's the biggest part. I have a little bit from Target and then there's some jewelry from Enroute Jewelry that I'll be showing you too. So that's everything that I got for September. So without further ado, let's get into the try on portion of this video. So I'm starting off with Target just because it's the smallest portion of this haul and I only got two things which I'm wearing right now. I actually got these when I was in Alabama because I didn't pack enough which is crazy because usually I'm an overpacker but for some reason I severely underpacked. But I got these shorts from Target. These are both from the Wild Fable clothing line that Target has which I really like. These shorts are like little mini shorts. They are low rise which I'm getting more into as I'm getting older. I just really like how flattering it looks getting back into like the Y2K type of style with the low rise. I really like that. High rise is kind of being pushed out of my closet personally. And I love this color of green. It's like a sage green. They're little like cargo shorts. They have these pockets. I just really love them so much. They're very lightweight. And just a heads up, I know it's a September fashion video, but I do live in Miami. So kind of not really getting into the fall stuff right now because it's so hot and it's gonna be hot for a while. So if you're thinking like, this is September, where's the fall stuff? Just wait a few months, it will be coming. And then this shirt is just a little baby pink tank top, which I feel like I need some more basics in my collection while I'm trying to find my style. I like to have statement pieces, of course, but I have to pair those statement pieces with more basic pieces. So having a little pink tank top like this will come in handy. It's also just really nice material. I love the color and I think that pink and green are like my favorite combination. As you can see in the background, I have these pictures that I made and they're like pink and green themed. I just think it looks so good together. So I was really excited about getting these. I think it's a cute little outfit, but obviously I can pair it with other things too. They're very versatile. So this is the first thing from Target, and now we're gonna get into the Shein portion, but I'll show you all the accessories and jewelry first. So to start off with Shein, I'm gonna show you the accessories and the jewelry that I got. The first thing that I got is kind of jumbled up right now, but it is all of these colorful waist beads. Um, while I'm find, finding my style, I used to be like a neutral girl and I was just following the trends of like neutral everything. And while that's cute and I, I appreciate people who wear neutrals, like I still have neutrals for sure. I'm realizing that colors are much more my style and I like to wear colorful things, mix and match colors, do like sandwich where you wear, you know, the same color on the top and the shoes and then a different color in the middle, color blocking, stuff like that is just more my style. It makes me happier. I like how colors bring out different features in myself. So I got these colorful waist beads. I think they are so pretty. There's like green, red, orange, pink, white. Um, and basically you just wear them around your waist and it kind of adds a little detail to any type of outfit. Um, you can wear them all at once to kind of give like that I guess statement effect or you can wear one or two at a time it really depends on what you want since i am in miami i go to the beach i go to the pool and i feel like these are just really cute to pair with a bathing suit so these were the first thing that that i got from shein and shein has all types of these so this was just what i found of course i'll have everything linked down below if you're interested but shein really does have all sorts of waist beads so the next thing i got are these headbands they are different colors obviously and they are a thick 
um, material and just like a thick width so I've been seeing these a lot on my Pinterest which is why I was inspired to get them I haven't worn them much since getting them I tried it on and honestly I didn't look too good in it I have a big head so like things don't look good but I feel like I have to do my hair a certain way I have to play around with it but I've seen girls wear these and they're so cute they give off like a ballerina Pilates vibe and I just think that they can add a little bit to a hairstyle or something like that so I got pink white black and gray and I'm really excited to try these out with future outfits still sticking to the hair accessories I think that details in an outfit really make or break an outfit I think a basic outfit is cute and whatever and you can wear your basic outfit but adding accessories like jewelry hair clips hair accessories waist beads your shoes you know body jewelry all that kind of stuff can really add to an outfit even like belts and things like that purses so I'm trying to get more into the details of my outfits since I do have a lot of clothes it's just like I want to accessorize more and add a little bit more bling and like pizzazz to things so I got these hair clips they are these floral hair clips as you will see a lot of the things that I got from Shein are floral themed. I guess I was just feeling the florals in all the different colors, but I got this blue one. There's this like pinkish one. All of these are pretty pinkish, purpley, but I think that these are so cute and fun to just add into like a bun. If you have a bun on your head, just clip it in or to clip your hair back. I do have thick hair, so these will only go so far, but I've added them to my buns and I think they're so cute. It just add a little flavor and a little touch of something different. So that was the last part for the hair accessories. Now we'll get into the necklaces. So next I got jewelry from Shein. I usually don't get jewelry from Shein, but if you do, I try to stick to like the beaded stuff or things that won't rust or, you know, get that weird color thing going on when you have like gold and silver jewelry because their stuff is cheaper but I know that beaded jewelry is coming into style more I love the beaded necklaces I can put some pictures up of what I'm talking about and just more like statement necklaces I love necklaces so much um, so I got this necklace first it's this little silver cross and it has these like pearl and silver beads going around and then this part is like rhinestones but I think that this is so pretty it's kind of like a choker style as you can see but I'm really excited to style this. I don't have a lot of silver. I'm really a gold girl but I don't mind um, mixing and matching my gold and silver jewelry. I actually think that it looks really pretty so I want to mix this with maybe some gold chains as well or like gold bracelets and things like that. So I just find this to be so pretty and when you're just getting into like the details and the accessories and finding what you like, sticking to Shein, which is a little bit more inexpensive, is really cool to find things that you really like before you invest in some of the bigger pieces. So this is my first necklace and then the second necklace is more for like a beach vibe or the pool or something. Like I said, I was really into the florals, but this is like a glass with a little like flower detail in it. It's really cool when you look really close. I'm trying to show you all. And then it has the black cord, but I think that this is so pretty for a vacation or just like beachy island vibes. I really was feeling this necklace with a lot of the pieces that I got, you'll see. It obviously will pair really well with some of these floral things that I'm about to show you all. And then like with the hair clips, just like having a floral theme. I don't know, I find that to be so cute and girly. So these are the two necklaces that I got. And honestly, they were probably like $2 each or something like that. So the next thing from Shein is actually a bathing suit, which I'm not gonna be trying on for YouTube, but it is this floral bathing suit. It's black with this really beautiful reddish pink with a little yellow flower on it. So these are the bottoms. Obviously they tie on the sides. This is the back, same thing as the front, but I love, like I said, floral and I am in Miami. So it just matches the vibes and I'm still gonna be going to the pool and the beach into September, October, that kind of stuff. And then this is the top, again, black with the little flowers. So I thought that this was way too cute to pass up. Here it is together. I'm trying to show it the best that I can, but I love this bathing suit. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm really excited to wear it to the pool. So the next thing that I got from Shein is sticking to the floral theme. It is this baby tee with this big green flower on it. And it actually looks really cute with the shorts. I know it's hard to see that I got from Target, but I have been loving baby tees or any t-shirts that are really tight and maybe a little cropped 
with a cool graphic on it and then some more baggier pants. I think that when you are styling an outfit, it looks really good when one of the items, like the shirt is tighter and the pants are more loose and backy or vice versa when the pants are tighter and then the shirt is like oversized. I just really like that look. But personally, I've been loving these little baby tees and having a little graphic on it like this green flower and then mixing it with some cargo shorts like these. So I really like this. I love the colorful effect on it. And again, sticking to the floral theme, I just find it to be so cute and girly. The next shirt that I got, I'm not going to be trying on just because I don't have the proper things to be wearing underneath of it yet because it is see-through, but it is this um, sleeveless top. It has these little gold chain detail things, rings, I don't know what to call them in the front that hold it together. I love the style and design of this. I really think that it reminds me of like 70s, like hippie type thing. I just think that it is so pretty. And then it has this right here. It's sticky so that, or not sticky, but you know what I mean, so that it doesn't slip down. But this is something that I would wear like maybe over a bathing suit top or some type of like, halter, um, bra type situation. You definitely need to wear something underneath of this because it is see-through, but I saw this on TikTok actually, and then I found it on Shein, so I love this so much. I just have to find the proper things to wear underneath, but hopefully you get the vibes. Hopefully my hair is not too messed up so far from trying everything on, but this next piece I actually already wore when I reached my 100K and I wore it briefly for my pictures for my 1K celebration, not 100K, oh my gosh, 1k we're not there yet but someday 1k celebration and this dress is so pretty it went viral pretty much i don't know where but i saw a bunch on pinterest and instagram but is this beautiful like purpley blue periwinkle i think it's called color and it has this pretty hot pink flower design on it and it goes all the way down pretty much to my ankles. I think that this dress is really flattering, super cute. I can see this on an island or like a vacation type vibe or just going out to dinner here in Miami. But again, I stuck to the florals, the colorfulness, like I just really love that. So this was everything from Shein. Oh, I have one more actually. So the last thing from Shein again is something that I've been seeing on Pinterest a lot and it is these floral shul shoes, heels. I wanted to say heels and shoes but I said shoes but maybe that's a new word we can use um these floral heels so I got them in pink and just picture it with like this dress or just I don't know just it, they're so cute and they have this little flower on them and the heel isn't too bad because I cannot walk in heels and um they have them in all sorts of colors and I've been seeing I've been seeing them on Pinterest a lot with different colors and themes and stuff, but I just decided with pink because pink is my favorite, but these are so dainty and pretty. I think that the flowers are absolutely adorable, so I can't wait to wear these. They are not uncomfortable, believe it or not, so I think that they are pretty walkable. I just have to, you know, break them in just a little bit, but again, I just wanted to stick to some like brighter colors, happier, more fun colors. I don't care what time of year it is. The neutrals for me are just not doing it as much anymore. I'll still buy neutrals here and there, but I just feel so much happier when I wear things that are colorful. So the last things that I got for my September closet monthly upgrade are these jewelry pieces from En Route Jewelry, and they are with Colleen Diaz. So they did a collaboration together. I don't know if you can see that on the box, but I have been watching Colleen Diaz since maybe 2015 or 2016. Um, we're about the same age so when she was like 16 or something i was watching her and she really inspired me to get into youtube i love her videos i love her life i love everything about her um she's just really cool her style is really inspiring so when she dropped jewelry i was like obsessed and back when it first dropped i got one necklace it was the tiny little cross one um because that's what i could afford at the time but i've been saving up to buy her jewelry and i just love every single piece that she has i honestly want the entire collection but that will come with time but for now i got three different pieces that i'm going to show you all so like i said earlier i am a gold girl and colleen diaz dropped a bunch of gold jewelry so the first thing that i got is this little gold floral ring and it has these colorful little gems in the middle and i think that they are so pretty so i got this in a size 8 to wear on my pointer finger because i wear these every single day on my ring finger um so i just like the gold and it kind of matches with my nails it looks pretty good i just got my nails done yesterday but i definitely love colleen diaz gold jewelry it just is 
I don't know, something about gold is just so beautiful to me and timeless. So the next necklace that I got is absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful like pearl gold. It has these gem rhinestone, I don't know, I don't think they're whatever they call these little gems different colors i just think that this is so pretty it's a statement piece for sure i love the colors in the necklace and of course the gold so when i saw this online it was kind of going viral everywhere i was like i have to get that so i saved up for it and then i also saw it online paired with this rosary inspired gold necklace so it comes with this clip and you can clip it as high up as you want or low as you want and these two together look so beautiful i definitely am into the stacked jewelry look and just having a bunch of necklaces on I just have been really getting into jewelry lately. So these two necklaces are everything. I've been wearing them all the time. Like I'm, you're definitely gonna be sick of me wearing them. I've already worn them a bunch in my other videos before making this haul, but I am so happy to finally have gotten these necklaces. And then I'm definitely gonna continue to look into her other things and just expand my jewelry collection with Enroute and the Colleen Diaz jewelry because it definitely is my style. So that was everything for my September closet up Upgrade. It definitely was like vibrant colors, florals, and sticking to accessorizing and the details. That's really what I'm getting into right now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and continuing on my journey of finding my style and expanding my wardrobe. And then every time that I get new clothes, I find some that I don't really wear anymore, they don't speak to me anymore, and I donate those. So that's what I'm gonna do now, but I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll have everything linked down below if you are interested as well. But I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, how's that sound?